this week on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. Hi and welcome to Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. On today's show we have two great late season hunts coming your way. First, we're going to be joining Dusty Peterson, a good friend of Craig Wentz, on a late season bull hunt out in eastern North Dakota. Then we're headed back out west to the ranch with JW on his muzzleloader hunt. So stay tuned for two great hunts coming your way. Well, Dusty and I just got down to the evergreens and uh, we already chased up a few deer getting in here, but it is so cold, so icy, and with the wind and stuff, they're just kind of moving around right in the evergreens. So that's a good sign. Hopefully they come back out to feed here pretty soon. But uh, we got an ice storm last night and I'm not going to lie, it's pretty brutal out there right now. Uh, Gusts up to what, 50 miles an hour? Yeah, windy. But uh, you were down here Saturday and pulled the cards, did Saturday, yep. And, uh, that was a pretty good buck that one that came in. Kind of interesting to see what he looks like. Yeah, I know he's a big five by five. And uh, gosh, we got the deer moving already. We probably should get going. Good luck. Thanks. Evergreens, their bedding area, about a half hour ago. And uh, the one we were looking for, one of the ones we were looking for, we call him White Diamond. He came out and he gave us a 20 yard shot. While he was doing that, there's a bigger one that is new. A couple days ago, we just first got pictures of him. He's got great G2s and G3s. He's actually bedded about 60 yards away from us. He's got his head down. He's pretty sure he's sleeping, so we're just going to let him. Let it stand for a while and see what happens. I'm good. Oh, what a rush. Congratulations. 
Awesome buck. <sighs> you were took your time. <sighs> well, a deer we seen early in the day bedded down 60 yards away from us. We ended up spooking him. He actually ran out of, for what is it, an hour ago? Yeah. He started working his way back in here. And, holy smokes. Way to go. <laughs> oh, shake it. Nice. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> well, here he is, my 2016 bull kill. Boy, there ain't no shrinkage, is there? Well, we got first pictures of this year on, well, we checked cameras on Saturday, so it was a few days before that. I believe that's the only pictures we've had of them down here. Ah, uh, wow, what an awesome deer. I'm happy. Well, now we're going to be joining JW on his late season muzzleloader hunt here in North Dakota. And this is a hard tag to draw. It takes about seven years. And JW was lucky enough to get this tag in his pocket, and he was pretty excited. Well, last night uh, was the opening evening of the uh, North Dakota muzzleloader season, and it's uh, it's the first morning, I guess you could say, and John's going to drop Kurt and I off at a new piece of property. We're going to go in with a little bit of daylight just because we haven't hunted this area in a lot of years, and we, we want to be able to get to the right place and not get to the wrong place in the dark, so we're going to give it a try and uh, go in here and see what's going on a little bit and there's still a little rutting activity taking place and John's gonna go check out a couple different areas and some different property again and uh, we'll either be back where we were last night tonight or we'll be in a new spot unless we get lucky and, and connect with one uh, this morning so it's time to go by surprise, but uh, man, it's been a great, great morning so far. We've just gotten here and deer everywhere. Probably a 115 inch buck. 115, 120, 135 yards, so just perfect. There's deer everywhere. I know, it's awesome.
73 yards. I was hoping he'd come just a little bit closer. He kind of knew the game was on. But he's still in the area. We'll be back tonight. So, could that be the well, it's a little different out this weekend. Uh, it's the second weekend of the North Dakota muzzleloader season, and uh, we've got 15 to 20 inches of snow now, so a little different scenery. The deer are definitely uh, using certain trails, and a lot of the deer have moved off to different areas, uh, feed lots, and uh, you know big areas of uh, brush and deep coolies but they've also moved into some good areas too so we're just gonna have to find out where they're at this morning we got down here last night did a little scouting but we we're a little late saw a lot of deer some deer were in the right place and a lot of deer were in the wrong place so today is gonna be kind of a whole uh, scouting mission and learning experience I guess it's been a long time since we've had this much snow does working their way down the tree row and uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a buck in there in the actual corn not sure how big he is but I'm just gonna have to wait be patient
Lovin'. I need some lovin'. <sighs> my back. Awesome. Yes, baby. This is probably the most fun morning I've had in a long time. We've had deer. We've had deer within 20 to 30 yards of us. Boy, is it gorgeous. Boy, oh, it's a very pretty deer. Very pretty deer. Fun morning. Oh my goodness sakes. Jeez. What a great way to end a gorgeous Sunday morning. Like I said, it's the calm before the storm. We had 15 to 25 inches of snow last week. And uh, now we've got a, a definite cold front coming. But late season, it's it's great. Oh boy. Beautiful cape in this deer. Taxidermy service is provided by Dakota Taxidermy, capturing the spirit.